Okay, so here we have a Brent um, hashing question. And um, what we need to do first um, is to calculate uh, for this uh, method um, what would be the start point and the step. Okay, so um, we know that the table size is 11 and we're going to use as the underlying method double hashing. So, um, so the start is at uh, um, V modulo um, 11 and the step is at V modulo 9 plus 1. Okay, and um, so we calculate all of those. We have that uh, the for 91 it's 3 and 2. For uh, 181 it's uh, 5 and 2. For um, 73 it's 7 and 2. And for uh, 163 it's 9 and 2 and um, 64 it's again 9 and 2 and 56 it's 1 and 3 okay so um, if we're looking uh, just at the start uh, value here they're all different up to here so 3 5 7 9 are all different starting points so uh, they are just going to go into the right place, into the first place, uh, with no uh, further probing, no collisions. Okay, so we have um, 91 goes to 3, 91, um, 181 goes to 5, um, 73 goes to 7, um, then 163 goes to 9. Okay, now we have our first collision. 64 also wants to go to 9. Okay, so uh, 64, we, um, we start here. Uh, there's a collision. And then we can go here. Uh, there's still a collision. We can go here. There's still a collision. We can go here. There's still a collision. And finally, we can go here. Okay, so that would be the standard uh, double hashing. But uh, we're considering Brent, so we want to see if we can move something out of the way. Unfortunately, that doesn't work too well. Why? Because all of the previous ones have step two, so if you now want to move 163 out of the way, you have to move it essentially to the same spot here. In 73, you have to move it uh, one, two, three steps to the same place and 181 two steps and 91 one step so you get that the that these costs are all basically equal to 5 right here you'll have 1 for entering this and then 1 2 3 4 for moving the 163 so you'll have either um, 1 plus 4 or 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2 or 4 plus 1. So which one of those should we choose? Well, um, the rule of thumb is um, if, you, if you have to pay this amount anyway um, later, so you cannot really improve the uh, successful search time, then just choose the one that requires the least movement of records, okay, right now in the insertion. So that would actually be the original move um, according to according to the um, according to the double hashing. Okay, so we would put 64 here. Okay, all right. Now we're down to 56. 56. Um, you have uh, one, and so uh, now it collides with the 64. And the step is 3, so um, if we basically uh, take the 60, uh, take, take our 56, um, it collides here first. Then it has a step of 3, so that's 1, 2, 3. It would collide here, 
and um, uh, then one, two, three, it would actually land in an open place. So that would be uh, one, two, three probes. Okay, so that's um, for the standard kind of uh, way. Uh, but if we do um, try the alternative ways, then uh, 64, our first collision, if we move it to 2, then we get 1, 2 here. So that's uh, 1. And then for the just the probing here, we get 1. So that would cost us just um, 2. So that 64 is going to be removed from here, and it's going to be entered here and then our 56 is going to be here okay okay now we want to do 3b and calculate the average successful and expected unsuccessful search length for the resulting configuration okay so we have the configuration uh, up here and um, and uh, first let's do the average successful Okay, so the average successful means going through the elements that we went put in the list and seeing uh, how many um, probes they you need to make in order to uh, find them. Okay, so what we see is that for 91, it's in its start place, so, the p so only one probe. Same here, only one probe. Same here, only one probe same in here only one probe because 163 is at the start place um, 64 poor 64 got bumped around a lot right so if uh, 64 first starts at uh, 9 and then goes down by steps of 2 basically we need to do uh, one probe two probe three four five and six in order to uh, find it so for this one we have a much larger number six and then uh, for this one we again just have one because it's in the start place okay so we have the sum of these uh, so that's 11 um, divided by the number of entries so that's six so that's equal to what uh, one and five six okay now let's do the uh, expected uh, unsuccessful search and um, the expected um, is not something that we do from the table because um, we don't know uh, we don't have these entries that are going to be unsuccessful that we do according to a formula and basically the formula is um, uh, un full uh, length uh, expected is equal to a one over one minus alpha, where alpha is the load. What is the load? We have six entries in a table of size eleven, so we have one over 1 minus 6 over 11 and um, that is equal to um, 1 over uh, 5 over 11 or equal to 11 over 5 and um, that uh, we can also say is equal to 2.2 okay so um, that's it for this question